Hello out there, it's Lloyd with Gizmos Games, and today we're looking at Commander 2014, Guided by Nature. This is the green Commander deck. Our Commander here is Freilis, Land of Wars Fury, another elf. Of course, we needed another elf Planeswalker. Um, if I get a goblin, we have two elves. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> so anyways, our plus two, put a 1-1 one, one green elf druid creature token that's on the battlefield. She tap for mana. She basically pops out Elvish Mystics. Amazing. Minus two, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Directly against those goblins. Maybe she may be a little biased. Maybe. Minus six, draw a card for each green creature you control. Wow. Right, there's the back of the box. Guided by nature, Freilis' Land of Wars Fury protects the forest and the elves who dwell there. And they protect her in return. This Planeswalker Commander summons legions of loyal elves to her side and unleashes the full might of the natural world upon her enemies. So. Here's our oversized commander card. Inside the box, we have our 2015 rules. Oh, come on. There we go. So, for green, our new cards are Creeper Hulk, Fraylis, Grave Slifter, Lifeblood Hydra, Siege Bahamas, Song of the Dryads, Sylvan Offering, Thunderfoot Balth, Titania, Protector of Argos, Wave of Voral, Wolf Caller's Howl. So, she's the only Planeswalker out of the, the 14 commanders that do not have an emblem, which is interesting. So, here's our, our tokens. Interesting set of tokens. I expected to have more uh, Elf Druid tokens, because I know uh, if I was playing green, I'd be using them a lot. <laughs> And again, this one is nothing lands out of order. Alright. Our creatures for Elise, Titania. Really like Jorga. Sylvan Safekeeper. Elvish Archdruid. Scary they reprinted that. Immaculate Magistrate. Warren's Wolf. Warren's Run Packmaster. Rins run pack mastery. <laughs> How many times do I have to say it before I say it right? Probably five or six more. We all know I can't say these cards right. So, Masked Admirers, Wolfbriar Elemental, Creeper Hulk, Silk Splash Spider, Grave Sifter, Primordial Sage, Raging Bahamas, Soul of the Harvest. Thunderfoot Balth, C 
Siege Bahamas. Tornado Elemental. Tester Dawn. Lifeboat Hydra. Wow. In contrast to uh, some of the other decks, there's a lot of creatures in this one. Um, some of them new. Some I'm really happy to see reprinted. Um, it's a Georgia War... Georgia Warcaller. Really happy to see reprinted. Elvis Archdruid. Again, awesome to see reprinted. <clears throat> Immaculate Magistrate. That is just amazing. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature for each elf you control. That could make a huge elf really fast. Um, anyone's ever played elves know you can get a bunch of elves out real quick. Really all I need is drop a Yield Nist in this deck. That would be scary. Very, very scary. So our new cards. Creeper Hulk. 5-5 five, five, Trample. Until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness 5-5 five, five, and gains Trample. Wow. Freilis. We already went over her abilities. Grave Shifter. When Grave Shifter enters the battlefield, each player chooses a creature type and returns any number of cards of that type from his or her graveyard to his or her hand. Wow. Thunderfoot. Let's see. The next one. Lifeblood Hydra is our next one. He's a 0 0. Oh no. Trample. Lifeblood Hydra enters the battlefield with X 1 1 counters on it. When Lifeblood Hydra dies, you gain life and draw cards equal to its power. Nice. You notice it's equal to its power, not equal to the number of counters on it. So, you hit it with the minus 13, minus 13. There you go. Siege Bahamas. It's a 7-4 Hexproof. As long as Siege Bahamas is attacking, for each creature you control, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. My only question here really is how does that affect Trample? Very curious to see that. Let's see our next new card. It's gonna be Thunderfoot Balth. It's a five five trample. He's our lieutenant in this deck. As long as you control your commander, Thunderfoot Balth gets plus two plus two and other creatures you control get plus two plus two and half trample. Nice. So far I he might be my favorite lieutenant. So for a six drop, he's a seven seven. And he gives everybody else a plus two, plus two. Nice. Titania. It's our next one. It's a five, three. When Titania, Protector of Argoth, enters the battlefield, return target land from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. Wherever land you control is put to a graveyard from the battlefield, put a five, three green elemental creature token onto the battlefield. Nice. So... There's our, our rare creatures. Let's see what kind of spells we got to go with our creatures. So, Beastmaster Ascension, Song of the Dryads. Wolfcaster's Howl, Fresh Meat, Whirlwind, Overwhelming Stampede, Collective Conscious, World of Vital, Practice Console, Sylvan Offering. So, here's our spells. So, of our new cards Wolf Caller's Howl. Beginning of your upkeep, put X22 Green Wolf creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is a number number of your opponents with four or more cards in hand. Hmm. I don't like that one too much. Wave of Voral. For each each player sacrifices all artifacts, enchantments, and non-basic lands he or she controls. Ouch. For seven. Ouch. For each land sacrificed this way, its controller may search his or her library for a basic land and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Then each player who says his library for this way shuffles it. Wow. That's scary. Sylvan Offering. 
Choose an opponent. You and that opponent, you, you and that player each put an XX green tree folk creature token on the battlefield. Choose an opponent. You and that player each put X 1-1 one, one green elf warrior tokens onto the battlefield. And that's a tap for X. So, Song of the Dryads. Enchant Permanent. Enchanted Permanent is a colorless forced land. <laughs> interesting. Very, very interesting. So let's, there's our spells. Our green spells. The green spells. Alright. Our artifacts. Emerald Medallion. See your sundial, Predator's flagship. So, not very many. All right, on basic lands. There's our non basic lands. Um, again, as with the other ones, nothing too too much to write home about. This one could be interesting. Tap it for a one one creature. For a one one counter, each green creature enter the battlefield this turn. Not bad, not bad at all. Commons on commons. Both the Land of War Elves and an Elvish Mystic. That's scary. Why would you do that, wizards? Why, oh why? Oh, but that's right. The, the Planeswalker basically makes copies of those guys. There's our common uncommons. Artifacts. So there we have our green commander 2014. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them down below and we'll get back to you. Um, we should be doing a star tournament with these five commander decks. See how well they turn out. I believe the star format is going to work very well, um, especially with some of the, uh, the cards and how they you choose an opponent. <clears throat> so be on the lookout for that. And as always, uh, thanks for watching and you know, look out for more videos.